Hi, we're out on the range today, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Today we're talking about AR platform versus AK platform. It's been done to death, but people seem to never tire of it, so here we are again. To do an in-depth analysis of these two rifles, we could be here for days. So today I'm going to concentrate on just one topic, accuracy. Now, accuracy technically is the ability of a barrel to put the projectile in the same place every time. But in real life of being on the range and shooting targets, hunting, shooting the enemy, whatever, there's a lot more accuracy to accuracy. You'll hear some people talk about an accuracy square, it's really more of a trapezoid. But the four parts are the rifle, the ammo, the shooter, and the environment. Okay, we'll be right here with the side by side so the environment won't change. I'm going to shoot both so the shooter won't change. Now the ammo. I'm going to use the same brand of ammunition for each. For our AR, we've got this Winchester 556 with a 55 grain full metal jacket spear point bullet. And for our AK, we've got this Winchester 762 by 39 with a 123 grain full metal jacket spear point bullet. A lot of times when the AK gets a reputation for poor accuracy, it's because people are shooting poor quality ammunition. This is a big step up from what a lot of people are shooting in their AKs. Now, the rifles. I've got this M16A1, which compared to the A2 or the A3 is generally considered to be the least accurate of the three. And by comparison for my AK, I've got this M10 that's made in Romania. Having spent a career in the military, I've had several opportunities to shoot genuine Eastern Bloc AK-47s. And although they're rugged, they're reliable, the fit and finish is terrible, the trigger pull is atrocious, this is a big step up from a real live Eastern Bloc AK, even though it's made in Romania. So, if anything, I'm giving the AK a big advantage today. So, let's shoot these two rifles side by side and see how they compare. We'll start by shooting 100 yards, and I'm going to shoot from this bench rest so I can remove as much of me from the equation as possible. And we'll shoot five shots out of each rifle and compare the results. And now we'll shoot five with the AK. So how do we do with our AR? Well, here's five shots fired at 100 yards. And this is not a particularly stellar group, but let's see how it compares with the AK. And here's our five shot 100 yard group with the AK. And you can see it's just not nearly as good. Now at 100 yards, yes, you're going to hit the target every time, but at two or 300 yards, a group this big is really going to tell on you. So we saw that at 100 yards, the AR was a little more accurate. But with rifles like this, one of the things you've got to be able to do is shoot fairly quickly and transitioning from one target to another. So I've got four targets set up at 50 yards and I'm going to shoot from one to the other. So I shoot one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one until I put six shots on each target. And then we'll repeat that with the AK and see how they compare for speed and accuracy. So 
how'd we do? Now I said I was going to shoot five at each target. I actually shot six at each target. So here's five and the sixth one down here. Now let's look at the others. Again, here's six impacts. And six. And six, the sixth one being down here at the edge. Now let's try this again with the AK with the same drill and see how it compares in terms of accuracy and time. So how'd we do? Well, I fired six shots at each target, but this one only has four impacts on it. One was down here at the edge. Let's look at the others. This one has five impacts. This one only has four. And this one only has four. Again, one's down here at the edge. Now that does not necessarily mean the AK is less accurate, it means that I can't shoot it as accurately, and that has a lot to do with the sights and really the terrible trigger pull that AKs have, even though this particular one, as AKs go, has a pretty good trigger pull. But either way, there's no question that on this drill, for me, the AR was a lot more accurate. Faster, you be the judge. Now let's try something different. I've got two targets set up at 300 yards, and I've switched AKs. I'm going to use this Wasser 1063. Now this Wasser sometimes gets a rap as being inaccurate. I can tell you I've been very impressed with this particular one as far as accuracy goes, at least by AK standards. So I'll shoot the target on your left with the Wasser, and we'll see how it stacks up against shooting the target on your right with this A1. So first we'll shoot the AK variant at the target on your left. And now the target on the right.
So how'd we do? Well, with the AK variant, I shot five shots. One, two, three, four, five. By contrast, with my A1, the five shots are one, two, three, four, five. And truth be told, this one is just me. It's not reflective of the rifle's ability. And so we can see that the targets speak for themselves. AR-15, M16 platform rifles are just more accurate. And there you have it. Even when I try to use what I would consider to be a more accurate version of an AK with what I would consider to be better ammo than you typically shoot out of an AK, it still comes up short in terms of accuracy when compared to an AR-15, M16 platform. And there are people that will say, yeah, but you could do a trigger job to the AK. Well, I could have done a trigger job to this A1. To tell you the truth, this particular rifle has probably the worst trigger of any AR-15 M16 platform I've ever fired. And so when you say what you could do in terms of aftermarket adjustments, you could do that to both rifles. And I'm trying to compare them in their eh, off-the-shelf format. But there's one other thing I want to add. Did you notice that shooting at 300 yards with that AK shooting at basically a man-sized silhouette that even though the group was not nearly as good as with the A1 rifle, all the bullets were still on the paper. So is the AK as accurate? No. But is it accurate enough? You be the judge. So as always, don't try this at home. I'm what you call a professional. And thanks for watching the M16 versus AK47 accuracy video.